Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we found the volume of the beam. We had to use the concept of torque to do that. But now in this part of the problem, we're going to find the tension in the cord and we're going to find the density of the beam. So first, the tension in the cord. Well, we can go ahead and take a look at this. We notice that the tension is going to be acting in this direction upward. So the tension plus the buoyancy force should equal the weight of the lead and the weight of the beam. So let's go ahead and try it that way. We can say that the sum of all the forces in the y direction add up to zero, which means that the buoyancy force in the positive direction plus the tension in the positive direction minus the weight of the lead downward, uh, that would be the lead right here, minus the weight of the beam downward. And so all that should add up to zero. For that, we can then find the tension. So the tension is therefore equal to the weight of the lead plus the weight of the beam minus the buoyancy force. Let's plug in everything that we know and see what that's equal to. The tension is equal to the weight of the lead, which was 3,675 newtons, plus the weight of the beam, which was 7,350 newtons, minus the buoyancy force. Now notice the buoyancy force was in terms of 4,900 newtons per cubic meter times the volume of the beam, which in this case was two meters cubed. All right, that means that the tension is equal to 3,675 newtons plus 7,350 newtons minus 9,800 newtons. So let's find out what the tension is equal to. So 3675 plus 7350 minus 9800 equals 1225 newtons. There we go. What about the density of the beam? Well, we know that the density is equal to the mass divided by the volume. Now the mass is going to be the weight mg, so in this case Let's go ahead and use the big MG, big MG divided by G, all divided by the volume. So the weight of the beam was 7,350 newtons. We divide that by 9.8 meters per second squared. And that gives us mass in kilograms. And then the volume was 2 cubic meters. And so let's see here, 7,350 divided by 9.8 and then divide by 2, and we get 375 kilograms per cubic meter. And there's the density of the beam and the tension in the cord, and that is how it's done.